Dan, this is Smith. Uh, I want to know if I should just stay up here on the climbing route or if he's going to need assistance. I have people waiting to bring you in. I copy, Dan. I'm at uh, 8,000 feet. If you meet Jerry Smith professionally in the backcountry, you f***ed up somehow. I mean, you want Jared to be the person who's reaching you because you can count on him to get you down off the mountain. My name is Jared Smith. I work for the uh, Mount St. Helens Institute and also volunteer with uh, Volcano Rescue Team. I started climbing Mount St. Helens when I was 16. You know, I've been up over 300 times. I think I have more knowledge of this mountain than probably any human alive. This year alone, since the winter started, as far as on Mount St. Helens itself, We've had a rescue almost every four days for the last four months. So it's a dangerous environment. Things can become real very fast. Drop of the dime, you gotta leave your family and go help someone you don't even know. To be a, a volcano rescue uh, member on Mount St. Helens requires that you have knowledge of the place. You have to have the strength and stamina to get to these places and you have to have the training once you encounter someone and decide what needs to happen and then act on that in the appropriate manner. If somebody gets hurt or if I were to get hurt, I'd want to see Jared. That's without question. Something that people should consider and know about Mount St. Helens is the fact that it's still a mountain, even though it lost 2,000 feet and a lot of its glaciers. 1980, after it erupted, it took a long time to come back. And since then, we've had dome building processes. It still has that element of exposure to weather, and it also has that element of danger due to rockfall and steep terrain. Well, I think sometimes people make bad decisions that lead to bad consequences, and they get in trouble. It's a mountain environment. And so there's, there's hazards that you take when you come into this environment that are gonna happen. So when I go inside the crater of this mountain, I'm either measuring the ice caves that lay inside there with Glacier Cave Explorer folks, or I'm going in for body recoveries with the mountain rescue. Good advice for somebody to avoid getting in trouble is know before you go and to let somebody know where you're going and when you're going to be back. Know that you're human and that the mountain is more powerful than you can imagine. Uh, so we just had a call. A girl I've had fallen off of a waterfall at River Falls and broke her arm. And she's down by the water. Be back to the car in 40 minutes and be up there in probably about an hour and a half from that. So it's not going to be a quick mission. She's going to be laying with a broken arm probably for the next four to five hours. Probably going to have to send an EMT over an edge and go down and retrieve her and bring her back up. It's not a good day when we meet in the backcountry. No, it's not your best day by no means.